Shri Guru Namaha. Welcome to our online teaching academy. CBSC Class 12 Economics. Topic Environment and Sustainable Development. India has developed in terms of infrastructure facilities. We have improved roads, advanced technology, industries, etc. But how are we going to take care of our environment? Let us now know the meaning of environment. Environment is defined as the total planetary inheritance and the totality of all resources. Environment includes living elements or biotic elements as well as non-living elements or abiotic elements which make up our surroundings and impact our existence and the quality of our life. There are a lot of resources in our environment. India is rich in natural resources. Our environment includes both biotic elements and abiotic elements. Biotic elements are the elements like plants, animals, forests, fisheries, etc. Whereas abiotic elements are those which are given as nature's gift like rocks, mountains, minerals, land, air, water, etc. Thus, our environment includes both biotic and abiotic elements and this increases the quality of our life. Let us now study the functions of environment. There are four basic functions of environment. Environment offers resources for production. Environment simulates waste. Environment provides aesthetic services and environment sustains life. Environment offers resources for production. Now these resources are provided by the environment. We can classify these resources into two renewable renewable and non renewable resources renewable resources are those resources which can be replenished or it can be used again and again it is inexhaustible Whereas non-renewable resources cannot be used again and again. It gets depleted. Or we can call this as exhaustible resource. Few examples of renewable resources are wind, sunlight that is for solar energy, water, etc. And example of non-renewable resource is 
fossil fuel, coal, petroleum, etc. Hence, we can say that these resources which are used for production of goods and services is provided by the environment. Hence, we need to safeguard our environment. We need to conserve and preserve our environment. The next function of environment is that environment assimilates waste. There are two main activities in every economy. One is production and the other one is consumption. The producers produce goods and services and the consumers consume those goods which have the highest utility. Now, during this process of production and consumption activity, there is a lot of waste generated. Now, what happens to this waste? How is this treated? Hence, environment assimilates those waste. The third function of environment is that environment provides aesthetic services. Nature has provided us with beautiful streams, snowy mountains, hills, rivers, etc. with beautiful scenery. This helps human beings to enjoy the natural beauty. Hence, environment provides aesthetic services. The last function of environment is that environment sustains life. Environment includes sun, soil, air, water, land, etc. which is very essential for human life. Absence of these elements implies the end of life. The fourth function of environment, environment sustains life. This is possible only when it remains in its carrying capacity. The environment has to remain in its carrying capacity and this helps in the sustenance of life. Now let us know what is this carrying capacity. This implies two important things. Resource extraction should remain below the rate of resource regeneration. It means the extraction of resource should be less than the rate of resource regeneration. We need to use the resources wisely. The next point to remember is that generation of waste should remain within the assimilation capacity of the environment. This is otherwise called as the absorptive capacity of environment. If these two conditions are not fulfilled in the economy, then environment fails to perform its function of life sustenance. Two basic problems related to environment. Problem of pollution and the problem of excessive exploitation of natural resources or degradation of natural resources. Problem of pollution. 
we know that the land is polluted and the people suffer due to pollution there are three main types of pollution air pollution water pollution and noise pollution so pollution is one of the basic problems related to environment if the air is polluted or if the water is polluted or, or if there is noise pollution all these are harmful to human beings the next one is the problem of excessive exploitation of natural resources we need to use the natural resources wisely there should be optimum use of resources these resources should not be overused or misused only if this is taken care there can be sustainable development let us now know the environmental crisis many resources have become extinct and the waste generated are beyond the absorptive capacity absorptive capacity is the ability of the environment to absorb degradation now these resources both renewable and non renewable resources due to intensive and extensive extraction of both renewable and non renewable resources has exhausted the resources and that is why it has become extinct and the other environmental crises are due to the misuse and overuse of resources these resources should be used at an optimum level when we misuse or overuse the resources then it leads to environmental crisis decline in air and water quality this has resulted in respiratory and water borne diseases causing lot of health issues rivers are drying and getting polluted development has led to pollution and rivers are being polluted and it causes drinking water problem opportunity cost of negative environmental impacts have become very high because government has to take lot of steps to control water pollution as well as air pollution so that people live in a healthy atmosphere global environmental issues global warming and ozone depletion also contribute to the increase in the financial commitments of the government global warming as you know is the gradual increase in the average temperature of the earth's lower atmosphere as a result of increase in greenhouse gases since the industrial revolution and this global warming is human induced the greenhouse effect causes climate changes and this leads to unpredictable weather cyclones rots 
etc and this in fact affects the entire economy because it affects agriculture and other sectors too ozone depletion is again an environmental problem this refers to the reduction in the amount of ozone in the stratosphere this is a layer of the atmosphere this occurs owing to the excessive use of cooling substances in the air conditioners and refrigerators due to depletion of ozone layer more uv radiation that is ultraviolet radiation comes to the earth and causes damage to living organisms this is responsible for skin cancer in humans and that's the reason that we need to safeguard our environment